They say there's a talent war raging in the legal profession, and everyone says they want a diverse slate of candidates, but can't find them. I say that's only because everyone's fighting over the same 1%. There is a far larger talented pool of lawyers to draw from, if you know how to find them. And most organizations over-index on recruiting diverse talent and fail to understand that developing, retaining, and promoting are equally as important. The systems and processes we leverage to recruit, hire, develop, promote, and compensate lawyers, they're all intertwined. And if your organization doesn't get that, then yeah, there is a talent war raging and you've probably already lost. A lot of times companies, they just focus on uh, retention as, as how to improve diversity, but they don't look at their culture within the organization to figure out whether there are obstacles to, to, to people being retained and being promoted within the organization. Join me for conversations with innovators who are taking an entirely new approach to disrupting bias in lawyer recruitment, retention, and promotion systems to create more inclusive and equitable workplaces. You know, our task is not to fix broken people, but to fix broken systems. Leveraging data, behavioral science, and technology to win the war for talent. But until then, I think that right now, what we need to do is to support the industry in surfacing data about candidates and then using that and putting it into collaboration systems for future AI possibilities. Learn from the organizations and people who are innovating and finding new ways to build and sustain elite, diverse legal teams. I'm Karen Ulrich Stacey, and this is Institutionalizing Inclusion.